And so in this video, I'm going to look at how to do conversions between data types in QGIS. So vector to raster, raster to vector. All right, so in this, this first example, I have the states that are currently represented as vector polygons, and I would like to convert them into a raster. All right, to do that, I can go to raster, and then conversion, and then rasterize. And then we have to select our raster layer, sorry, vector layer that we're wanting to convert. You can either use an attribute field or you can put a fixed value in each cell. So I'm going to grab an attribute field. Note that it just gives you like um, continuous uh, measures. You can't use any string fields. If you want to use a string field, you're going to have to create like a dummy uh, uh, integer field uh, that, can, that holds the, a unique ID for each category. So I'm just going to put the population density in the field. Um, the cell size, we'll use the map units, and we'll just do a one kilometer cell. And then we'll make sure that we'll set the extent to states, which should be the case since that's what it's, uh, the input is. And you can set a null value and a data type. We'll just leave it as is for now and hit run. And there we go. So now we have this raster representation of, of the data. So if we uh, zoom in here, um, you can see the high, dense, high population density states like New Jersey and the, the District of Columbia and Rhode Island and like the low density ones like out west like the Dakotas. All right, um, you can do similar types of operations for, um, for lines and points also. So here's some line features. And let's say we want to convert those into, uh, into, into a raster. So similar process, you do a raster, conversion, rasterize, and we grab our layer. Now instead of using an attribute field, we're just going to fill all the cells with one. So it's basically like road, not road. Um, again, map units, and we'll do 10,000, or let's just do 1,000. So one kilometer cells, and we'll make sure it fills the extent of the state layer. And uh, again, we could have set a null value and a data type, but we just will leave it for now. All right, so we'll run that. Close. Let me turn off the vector there. So if we zoom in, we now have a, a raster representation of the road network where each of the cells within the network are coded to one as opposed to um, as opposed to like an integer or a field value from the table. Okay, um, again you can go the opposite direction, convert back. So let's convert the this raster that we created back into a polygon layer. Okay, so to do that we can use a conversion po polygonize, it's hard to say, <laughs> uh, raster to vector. So we'll, again we'll feed it our rasterized layer um, I actually can't tell which is which because it's like the same name. So let's, um, let's save this one out real quick. So we'll call this um, state r2.tiff. Save that out to file. There we go. So now we should have just a copy of that with a, a name. So we'll go to raster again, uh, convert, polygon, and um, this will be what the attribute column will be. So let's we'll call it pop den instead of the default. This use eight connectedness, what that means is if you have a set of cells and that have the same value and they only touch at a corner, so they're, they're diagonal as opposed to like orthogonal or cell aside, it's still gonna consider that one unit. Um, so let's we'll, we'll run that and that should do it so now we'll hit run and this should convert this back into a raster for us close so we got this new layer called vectorize and if we zoom in here we can see that that was the state boundaries derived back from that raster so we can compare that back to the original and again, it's a little coarser now because it had to render that out from the uh, 
uh, one by one kilometer uh, uh, cells. Okay, so that's uh, some examples of doing uh, vector raster data conversions.